Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Brawless Monolid Rachel back again. I was so surprised to see that in my last video, a lot of you guys said that you have similar facial features as me. So I'm really happy to hear that it helped a lot of you with your makeup for monolids. So I decided to do this video again but this time it's gonna be on a more natural makeup so this is gonna be my everyday makeup it's been a really long time since i did this makeup because in quarantine i usually just look like trash over the years i found a few like hacks you can say to do my makeup faster so you'll see the products that i will use that i find are like great for people who are who don't want to spend that much time in the morning doing the makeup but you still want to like do your makeup you know what i mean for me the shape of my aunt model is making me look tired all the time so things that I find um, that really helps open up my eyes is double eyelid tape natural lashes and contact lenses speaking of contact lenses Hapa Kristen sent over a couple of contacts for me to try out so I'm gonna be using Hapa Kristen lenses today and this is the packaging it is so cute it, it came in like the cutest packaging ever so Hapa Kristen is a company from Korea and they make colored lenses they're actually known for their quality most of the time when I buy colored lenses or like circle lenses from companies from Asia, they would be yearly lenses. But Hapa Kristen's lenses are actually either monthly lenses or daily lenses. So they're more suitable for everyday wear and they're supposedly more comfortable because daily and monthly lenses are slightly thinner than annual lenses. So if you wanted color lenses to wear every day, I feel like these ones would be the way to go. And plus they are affordable, so that's always a plus. So I picked out a couple lenses I wanna try, but in today's video, I'm gonna be using the style piece full Kristen hazel so this is a hazel color so it's supposed to be very natural and blends into my naturally brown eyes but it has an outer ring so the ring on the outside just gives an enlarging effect I really like this color it's like a light brown color but it doesn't it's not really hazily I think it's just like a light brown So I have both lenses in and I really like this. It's like very subtle, but you can tell that my eyes are slightly lighter, kind of. Maybe if you look closely, but I think overall, I think it looks really natural. My headband to keep my hair out of the way. So I'm using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Light. This is similar to the one I used last time. Last time I used the matte version, but I think I still prefer the original over the matte version. I used to pay almost $30 for the Real Beauty Blender, but to be honest, I didn't find that much of a difference with a Real Beauty Blender versus like a lot of the um, knockoff versions. Well, this is like a cheap $1 one from um, Mumuso. It's the Korean version of Mini So, I think it's called Moo So. This is a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. So I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Setting Powder to set my concealer. Okay, that's it for my face makeup. Moving on to the most important part my eyebrows so for my eyebrows um pretty much i use the same one every single day it's the anastasia dip brow with the anastasia pencil and this one is in number 14. so that's pretty much how i do my brows the same way as last time i know it's not the most natural and last time i got a comment saying that it looks stenciled i think it's a personal preference like, i know some people like softer fluffier kind of natural looking brows but it's just really hard for me to get brows that look like brows because I didn't have like a shape to start with so I personally like this shape myself yeah that's, but that's just me so for today I'm using the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette and that's my favorite palette I've been using this for a long time and it works with a lot of my everyday looks so I'm going to be using the shade Peach Tea And then I'm going to take this brown color peach tart for the outer edges of my eye. Mm. 
that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I don't really do much eyeshadow. I kind of just use the two colors to put on my eyes. And I don't always use those two colors, but everything I use is generally in this palette. I don't have that many palettes. I find that this palette and peachy tones in general work really well for like Asian skin tones. So that's why um, on like an everyday basis, I pretty much just gravitate towards grabbing this eyeshadow palette. Okay, this part is kind of important. So I'm gonna put on my double eyelid tape and it gives you like a slight crease for me it doesn't give the real double eyelid because when i put it on i have like really fat eyelids when i put on the double eyelid tape it just gives me like a slight crease so that you can actually see my eyeliner it doesn't really give me like a real double eyelid if you know what i mean so i usually wear double eyelid tape just so that you can actually see my eyeliner properly actually worked pretty well today you can tell this is a double eyelid Okay, now for the eyeliner hack. After I discover this product, it, it's like literally the best thing ever. So it's called the Kaja Wink Stamp. And it's basically just like a stamp in the shape of a wing where you just stamp on the wing onto your eyes so that you don't have to draw the wing and you get basically a consistent wing every single time. So ever since I discovered this, so I've been pretty much using this in the mornings where I don't really have time in the morning to do my makeup fully. So I use the wing stamp because it saves me so much time. And then I just do the same thing on the other side. And then there you go, those are the two wings. And then this product also comes with an eyeliner that you can use to connect the wing to the rest of your eye, um, like how you would normally do an eyeliner. So it's just really easy to get the perfect wing every single time. So I didn't actually completely draw my eyeliner yet because I want to show you another product that I'm going to use that's going, that's like another hack basically. So I'm going to be putting on some natural lashes. I just find that wearing lashes look a lot better on me than wearing mascara just because I don't really have any nat eyelashes naturally and plus because of my on monolids, they're straight and they point downwards. So mascara doesn't really do much for my eyelashes. So I'm going to be using a very natural pair of lashes. These are the Velour Effortless Lashes in the style Mini Me. I'm also going to be using Velour's Lash & Go Lash Glue slash Eyeliner Hybrid, which is actually so much better than I had imagined this product to be. It's a very black eyeliner. It's a pretty good eyeliner in itself. Plus, it's an adhesive when it's wet. So right after you apply the liner and you put on the lashes, it just automatically sticks. You'll have to like put on a lash glue on the lashes and then wait for it to get tacky and then put it on your eyelids. So it kind of saves all that time that you spend doing that. And it's just like a two in one step, basically. So immediately after I put on the Lash & Go product, I just take my lashes and And then that's it. It's literally so easy and it saves me so much time. I literally just apply the eyeliner and then pop my lashes on and then it just sticks. And then you just wait till the eyeliner dries, which is pretty quick. And then if you tug on your lashes, it doesn't come off. So it's one of the best products I've used. With that being said, I just realized I forgot to curl my lashes before putting on the falsies. So, um, but I'm, I am gonna curl this eye just to do it properly. And there you go, that's how I do my eye makeup. I just realized there's still some powder on my face. And then lastly for my face, I use the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. Um, it's pretty much like a bronzer and blush two in one because it has like some pink powders in there which i like because i kind of put it where my bronzer slash blush goes yeah it's not really like contour it's kind of just bronzer so i put it where my um bronzer or blush would normally go so 
So that's normally all I would do to my face. Forgot my lipstick. Lipstick is very important. And then I'm gonna finish off with a lip gloss. This one is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish. I really like the tingly feeling of these um, lip glosses, so I like to use them every day. And then some setting spray. I forgot to use this last time and someone pointed it out, so I'm gonna use it this time. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So this is how I would normally do my makeup in real life when I want to put on a full face of makeup. Okay, so this is my finished product in a better lighting than my bathroom lighting. So this is what it looks like. So it's pretty much like a less dramatic version of my makeup from my How I Catfish the Internet video. So shorter lashes, smaller wing, less eyeshadow, less contour, kind of less of everything, but still makes a pretty dramatic difference to my face in my opinion. And it doesn't take that much time to do. So this is how I would typically wear my makeup in real life on days that I want to wear a full face of makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you want more makeup videos. With that being said, I'm not like an expert on makeup or anything. This is just how I like to do my makeup and I have no idea if I'm doing things correct or not. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you want me to do more makeup videos, I'd be happy to do that. And I hope you guys stick around to check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in my next one.